Okay, uh, so last week, B was over here playing a game, and I asked what the game was, and you told me, I don't even remember, I still don't remember the name of it. I was playing Township, and he says, is that like the Sims game? And I was like, no. It's Which like is a valid, Keegan, you're a gamer. It's a va it was a valid question. When I was growing up, it was Sims or, or Tycoon, Roller Coaster Tycoon, any of the tycoons, Zoo Tycoon. Uh, but those there were was big no names. people on the game. He saw crops in a farm and said, is that the Sims game? I didn't, there's a, a zillion types of Sims games. I just assumed that that was maybe one of the Sims. No, Actually, no, no, what I said no, was, I thought, is it like, I think what I said was, is that like Sims? So now we're getting and specific. Then, and then you looked at me like I was stupid. Now, here's what happened. I told her, she, she she comes at me. You came at me and said that I should know what that game was. And you should have. But I didn't. And I told her, I challenged her, Keegan. Challenge. I said, go find me how many teachers in this building are going to understand and know what that game is. And I told her that I bet none of them would. Now, you said you found a few teachers. How many teachers did you find? Maybe like three. Maybe. Like three three and deuce told me that y'all went down every single hall how many teachers in this building do you do you we even went to the back hall where theater is so how many teachers would you have to guess that y'all talked to because i mean you, well, you took the whole day no i mean we did take the whole day but we only asked the teachers that we thought would have played that game so you cheated no so teachers there's probably even more of you in the building that don't know what that game is or do you would just have to see it. Do you know what this game is? Mm, no. Yeah, me neither. Well, I kind of have an idea. Kind of like a farm game. Basically, you deliver corn on the back of a truck. I'm here with Miss Robbins, and have you ever played the game Heyday? Yes. Did you like it? Of course. Can you tell me what it was about? Farming. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Miss Rainey, have you ever heard of Heyday? Not Heyday, but I do remember Farmville. Can you tell me about that game? Oh my gosh. Okay, so I played it on the computer because <laughs> you didn't have apps back then on your phone. Um, and basically you had a little town and you built a farm and the more crops you grew, you could like upgrade and grow different crops and you feed your town and then your town like built on top of that. So your town like made money and you could expand from a town to a city. Um, and I don't know where it went after that. I'm here with Miss Kennard. What's your street name? <laughs> It's like Nike just do the work. Okay, it's just like Nike do the work. Have you ever played Heyday? Uh, yeah, Heyday. What was it about? Um, it's basically, how can I put this? If you're older, you'll know what I'm talking about. We had Farmville and we had this other thing where all you like going to this virtual world. So it's y'all Roblox, but um, depending on how old you are, we had Farmville. So basically, you're on the farm and you're doing all this work, but it's only one of you. So you are either going to collect money selling your product or um, once you get your product, you can house it in a barn or buy another barn. So it's like a repetitive buying, selling thing. So I guess it's kind of a good thing. I'm here with Mr. Glywell. And have you ever played the game Heyday? I have played Heyday. I didn't play it long. Uh, it was one of those games I didn't quite get into, but I heard a lot about it, uh, especially uh, from friends on Facebook. That's mainly how I know it. It's a lot of people played on Facebook, uh, but also from students. Uh, a lot of my students, especially when I was in college during my student teaching every day, they would give an update on their Heyday because the teachers were playing it too. Okay, so I'm going to go out on a limb and say teachers, most of you had no clue what this game was. What's it called again? Heyday. Heyday, heyday. What do you do in the game? Just so that me and the you other just, teachers can be educated. It, you just create your little farm, you level up, you sell stuff, you buy stuff, and get more stuff as you level up. It's Sims, teacher. It's the farm version of Sims. See, when you said Sims, I thought you were talking about the little people game where you have like people in the little house. That's what, That's what I'm talking about. You're making it sound like you're talking about tycoons and... <laughs> Roller Coaster Tycoon was also a game where you created like a little world and then people would go See, into the that's amusement That's what park. I've never heard of. Roller Coaster Tycoon? Yeah, oh, it was the one that. that started all of it. It was the one that started. I still remember in college walking into a dude's dorm room for the, as soon as it came out and we had to load it on a CD. Like there was no 
intranet with that. You sound like my mom. You loaded it on a CD, and then the first roller coaster I ever built on there, I called it the Purple People Eater. I made a lot of money too. A lot of people liked that roller coaster, and then it crashed, and they all died, and then I had to close the park because I lost all the money because people wouldn't ride the roller coaster anymore. They were afraid that it was too dangerous.